Welcome to the Dreamlands. We are back with some more Deserts of Karak gameplay. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different than previous videos. It's actually going to be a tutorial on how to deal with the AI. Now, the reason being is I've had a couple of people in particular ask me to do a video like this. Uh, in addition to that, I've noticed that some newer players tend to struggle quite a bit with the AI. So, I'm going to do a video here to show you guys how to deal with the AI and how they play. Now, the, re the way that I'm going to demonstrate this is I'm going to put myself in the most difficult possible scenario and hopefully prevail. And that will show you guys how the AI plays and how you can deal with how they play. So, let's jump into a game here. I'm actually going to record myself live right now playing it. I think that's a better uh, educational tool, doing it that way. So we're going to create a private game. I'm going to do this one as the Coalition. It's very likely that I will end up doing one as every faction, just to showcase uh, the different play styles and how you can use the different factions in these particular scenarios. So again, this is just a example of how you, of one way that you can deal with the AI. Uh, there are many different build orders that you can use, I'm sure. Uh, there are many ways that different compositions and different play styles can work. You can make them work. So consider this an example and perhaps consider it a, a starting point. Um, yeah, so the important thing is understanding basically the timings, how to tweak your starting build order because that is probably the most crucially important thing and how to survive the early game and how to be successful through the mid game because if you can survive the early game and if you can build up this momentum and reach a critical mass of units during the mid game you're going to be in a pretty good spot so let's go ahead and create a game now i'm going to do the most difficult thing imaginable i'm going to go by myself versus three AIs, the maximum number that you can have on a team. I'm going to set them all to hard. They're all going to go team two. And to make things even more difficult, we're going to play artifact retrieval and we're going to leave it on the default of five. So, I mean, you could make things insanely difficult if you want and put it at four. Anything less than that is actually impossible, and I'll show you why. If you set it to, I mean, I don't know, maybe a gamer like some super pro player can come out here and prove me wrong, but pretty much three or less, I'm going to call it impossible. You simply just can't do it. So this is the most difficult thing you can do. So anything that you see me do in this match will work in any other possible situation because any other possible situation will be easier than this. And again, this is just my preferred method, so feel free to use this as a starting point and develop your own style. And uh, yeah, if you have any other ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. Tell me how you do it or other ideas that you would like to see me do, and I will be happy to oblige. Now, just for the sake of uh, making this video lore friendly, we are going to make all the AIs Galcian, so a good old coalition versus Galcian always cool. Now this doesn't really matter. Uh, what I'm going to do will be effective versus any faction. And um, nothing more to say. Let's jump in. You might have noticed I did change my Steam username. Hopefully that doesn't cause any confusion. So if you guys are on here, yes, this is me. And I, do, I, I tend to change my username sometimes from time to time if my mood strikes and typically my username will not be the same as my channel name just as a brief aside because the way I see it my channel is a location it's a place it's not a person so yeah all right guys here we go so the first thing I'm going to do is grab all of my starting salvagers and set them onto CUs. All 
I'm going to queue up two salvagers and rally them directly onto RUs, and I'm going to recycle my starting base runner. My carrier is super excited, he's dancing. And then I'm going to save 600 CUs, and as soon as I have 600, I'm going to build a support cruiser. You should be able to do this in about 35 seconds. So pretty damn fast, especially because we recycled our starting base runner. You can choose to keep your base runner to uh, use turrets, but I find them in the early game not that effective. There are simply too many light units and they will get overwhelmed and it's a waste of resources. As soon as you have 300, hit that LAV fabrication. So what this build order is, is support, saturate your starting location, support cruiser first, and then we're going to tech directly to AAVs. We will build LAVs later, but not right now. We're going to need AAVs as quickly as possible. And as soon as this support cruiser is on the field, we are going to move our carrier up. You can start moving it uh, a little bit early because support, the support cruiser comes out the back. So it'll be pretty much Research in the completed. location that you want it to be. Move. Now start AAV fabrication immediately. And what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of park okay. our carrier out here a little bit. Go ahead and put your first unit of power into the weapon turret network, online. your weapon power, oh. and just park your carrier right here. Now the reason we're doing this is the AI is going to attack us with an overwhelming number of light vehicles. And Deploying if the carrier module. is the only target in range of them, they will just stop and attack the carrier. So we're going to abuse that, and that's going to help us survive the initial push. And as soon as this is done, we are going to build a couple AAVs. Research completed. Boom, we are going to rally Artifact them right onto this high ground here. And we are going to prepare to uh, expand aggressively. So let's get the carrier production as quickly as possible. And let's set, just as a little tip, you can set two rally points. You can set one for your salvagers and the resources. So as soon as you build them, they will immediately start mining resources. And let's set one for our units. So you can have two active rally points. And I think we should be able to do with four AAVs for the time being. Now you'll notice they're Carrier going to deliver three to artifacts and there's not a damn thing we can do about it. Um, I mean, I guess I can just move out there right now, Armored but it's pointless because we will be fighting a ridiculous shit ton of Deliver light vehicles. Here they come. Hostile light attack vehicle Off visually way. authenticated. Control group one designated. Hostile forces are attempting to extract an artifact. Alert. Carrier is taking fire. Armor vehicle Control taking order. effective fire. Fleet group one assigned. This is the captain. Get moving. Now we're probably going to lose Three. an AAV. Move. Not. Right down. Micro. Attention. Reposition. Go for armor. Nice. We saved it. Set. Receiving. All hands. Hold. So the idea is use your carrier and your L or your AAVs to hold off their very first attack, and then immediately expand to your second resource location, Salvager and then online. tech to railguns. And that's going to provide us with uh, what we need to be able to survive. What you want to do is just heal up your units as well. So send these AAVs back and grab armor, level 1. You will see me aggressively getting power and armor upgrades because you are going to be... Well, I am going to be... How many do I have here? Four? One more? I am going to be extremely outnumbered, and the way that I can uh, offset that is by making the correct tech choices and having an upgrade advantage. Go for carrier. New sector designated. Salvager online. Move order confirmed. They come again. We're gonna get armor level two. Armor vehicle is taking fire. We're going to have our carrier also rally to these 
Make ready. Get the strike trap destroyed. Acknowledged. Move out. Carrier moving. Seal hatch. Carrier here. Systems online. Armored assault Warfare modifications carried We're going to have our carrier build two more salvagers and send them to these RUs. That will mean we're effectively we're mining at full efficiency, go. damn near full efficiency, off of three All resource right. locations. That's going to be a damn good thing. All systems great. research completed. Carrier copies. Armor online. So we have level two upgrades uh, for armor, and we have carrier is about to have his level two, or his level one power upgrade. So we're going to try and kill these um, ace runners as quickly as possible. That will give us a little bit of breathing room here. Deploying field logistics module. Fleet logistics module out. Listen up. And then we're just going to camp ourselves right Real here. Online. Just Control. spam two designated. Fleet group two assigned. Uh, units. Hostile support craft down. Now at this point we have a few rail guns and a few AAVs, so we're looking pretty good. Group now what we want to do is get a couple of Hostile AAVs on the field, or LAVs on the field, pardon me. Confirmed. Those will help us outflank some of the enemy rail guns. They are going to start sending a stupid amount of rail guns at us. Down. There they are. Craft taking effective fire. We have eyes on an artifact. Stand by. Target locked. Armor ready. Attention. Alert. Three. LAB down. Eyes on hostile. Unknown inbound. Overrated. Designating hostile. Go ahead. Green line confirmed. Receiving. Fast Enemy back contacts back. on Speed. the board. Attention. Be advised. Enemy support vehicle authenticated. Weapon range systems currently active. Receiving. Engage. Research completed. Proceed to rally point. Secure location marked. Hostile Punch forces it. are attempting to Listen extract up. an artifact. Orders! On target! All Attention. hostile range craft destroyed. Hostile. Enemy railgun firing on friend outside. Be advised. Ready. Hostile forces have dropped an artifact. Alright, we're going to get now support cruiser anti-air, and we are going to get a couple of support cruisers onto Light the field, because we are going to need some healing out. power. Big time. Receiving. Now let's just Fire, get these moving. rail guns cleaned up. Light attack vehicle in service. Call Control group four before. designated. Ready. Lock. Alert. Turn Light attack fire. vehicle Attention. destroyed. Get us moving. Fleet group four assigned. Tracking armored craft on approach. Light Strike attack vehicle is under fire. On our way. All right. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, we prevented them from delivering any more artifacts. And we got Move order confirmed. nice dominant Make position ready. here. And I am going to go for... I don't know what. It doesn't really matter. I uh, get more rail guns. The command carrier must place additional fleet capacity deployable. Fleet logistics module out. Strike craft Operating ready. Sencom. Location marked. So we have a few LAVs. They're pretty much expendable. Go for um, but we're going to want to use them to... Outflank Armor any huge railgun pushes. Ready. Ready. Support cruisers have been outfitted with anti-air defensive Reposition. systems. We're out. Hit it. Read enemy armor disabled. Confirmed. Cruiser ready. Control group Reposition. one designated. Reposition. Support cruisers are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Ready for advised. Go ahead. Enemy support vehicle authenticated. Fleet group two assigned. Reporting. Set new heading. Ready for order. Control group two designated. Green line confirmed. Listen up. A head full. Reading you, command. Enemy support craft neutralized. All right. So I'm going to build a couple base runners Engine now, and the reason secure. being I am going to uh, start putting up some anti-air turrets, because the next thing that we can expect to see is a huge spam of air units, and it's pretty goddamn terrifying. So I've opted to go for 
um, support cruiser anti-air and get a bunch of support cruisers on the field. Now the reason being is their anti-air is very powerful, but they also can heal up my units. See, they've already come with the uh, air strikes. Those are going to get taken out quite handily. Op ready. Coordinates confirmed. Hostile strike craft down. Armor vehicle taking Receiving. effective fire. Crew ready. Armor systems active. Copy. Target strike craft ready. taking effective Alert fire. Position locked in. All hands. Alert. LAV down. Copy. On our way. Fire on the move. Jesus this Christ. Is the captain. Send message. Copy. Coordinates set. Be advised. Group four lost. Group four lost. Artifact position authenticated. Going mobile. Move through this hot zone. So basically all I'm doing is continuing to get power upgrades and continuing to pump out more and more railguns. Hostile forces are attempting to extract an artifact. Be advised. Hostile forces have dropped an artifact. Fleet group two assigned. Ready for Control group two designated. Fleet group two assigned. Listen up. Support crews are under attack. Immediate get fire moving. support on that position. Going mobile. Be advised. All tracking hostiles. So more and more support cruisers, more and more railguns. And now you eliminate. can see I'm actually in a pretty commanding position. Uh, they just can't get any artifacts in. So at this stage in the game, you can probably decide how you want to play it. Um, do you really want? Control group two designated. Do you really want the artifact win, and if so, you can just push forward with your giant ball and park it like right here, and just build a couple base runners and start delivering the artifacts. Or if you don't care about the artifacts, you can simply um, you can simply go ahead and kill them, which is exactly what I'm going to do because it will be quicker. Go for carrier. Research completed. So let's get some more. Ready for command. Online. Fleet group two assigned. Get this cruiser moving. Green line confirmed. Be advised. Message. Hostile forces have dropped an artifact. Fleet Point group set. one assigned. Attention. Push her through. The fleet is at assault cruisers. Power. Enemy armor on approach. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Enemy airstrike inbound. These guys are going to get Hostile me a couple of... See, here's that air spam I was talking about. Hostile interceptor destroyed. Alert. Carrier taking fire. Armor level three. Get us moving. Enemy armor disabled. Confirm move. Got me. On our way. Cruiser ready. This is the captain. Now I'm Deploy almost maxed out. Module. So that's fine. Reporting. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Go ahead. Ready. Hostile out. rail gun oh, opened up. Attention. Ready. Green line confirmed. Online. Support ready. Move order confirmed. Report. Assault cruiser ready for assignment. Receiving five Control five group five. one designated. Cruiser moving. Listen up. Got me. On our way. Ready. Reposition. Ready. Roger. Now order at this confirmed. point, I'm pretty much invincible. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill it, the AI. I'm just going to get power level 5. So, Ready for command. as you can see, pretty much the name of the game was survival. Going mobile. Uh, if you can just survive, you're pretty much going to be in a good spot. Um, and so what I did was support cruiser first, saturate, or saturated my first location, support cruiser first, tech to AAVs, Use your carrier and your AAVs to hold off the first push. Immediately set up your second resourcing location and tech to railguns. And then just spam upgrades. Oh, I'm going to start losing a bit of units. See, this is the air spam that I was talking about. It's actually a major pain in the ass. Surprisingly, I... You know what? Actually, I'm going to get... As soon as power level 5 is done, I'm going to get... Uh, assault cruiser anti-air as well. So yeah, then I tech to railguns, and once I had three, so railguns, and then the third resource location, and once I had three uh, resourcing locations, I just spam power upgrades and armor upgrades 
push out into the mid and camp there, prevent them from really doing anything. So again, the upgrades and the healing is crucially important. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful to you. I'm not going to bother with the artifacts because that'll take a really long time. I'm just going to go ahead and kill uh, the computers now. Railgun online. Energy signature confirmed. An artifact has been discovered. So do we have power five? We do. Proximity warning in effect. Hostiles designated. Now our carrier is just a monster. I have uh, cruise missiles. And we're going to see them used to great effect shortly. Enemy production cruiser has appeared in the at this AO. at this stage in the game you've won. Uh, if you can get here, have one. Confirm move. Switch power yeah, so you can just do whatever the hell you please at this point. Hostile rail guns opened up. You get another assault cruiser because they're cool. Ready. Enemy armor disabled. Attention. Hostile range craft destroyed. See you. Go ahead and. Enemy Launch a nuke. On Another carrier should be right here. I mean, I, I suppose you can lose still. They're, they do have a ton of units, so... Um, I don't know if you do something really... Bad, and I suppose you can lose, but I don't, know. don't see it happening. To tell you the truth. So the the trick really is um, get your economy as fast as possible. Get that up, and then once you get this mass of high tech units, just camp. That's all you got to do. Camp. Um, and again, you can make a lot of different. Uh, unit compositions work. on our way. Ahead full. Send message. Reporting. Group one assigned. Alert. Going Hostile mobile. bomber sighted. Ready for command. Hostile armor incoming. Alert. Hostile strike fighter in circulation. Grid up. But as you can see, I pretty much just have the death train rolling. There's like nothing that the computer can do at this stage. Let's get some more power even just to add insult to injury. Alert, sensor post lost. Sensors post keep under fire. Rush through. Strike craft destroyed. Ward and set. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Fire smoke screen! Enemy salvager neutralized. Smoke screen. AA turret taking fire. Point set. Be advised. Going mobile. Enemy support vehicle authenticated. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. This is the captain. And again, it's just a matter of uh, survival, really. Because, you know, it can be pretty difficult for the first just little while. I'm actually getting tired of this guy. Let's give him a cruise missile. Nice point blank cruise missile. This is the captain. Ahead full. Target locked. Be advised. Moving. Hostile carrier visually authenticated. Listen up. We've detected something. Back. Can you confirm this? Damn, real. Cruiser ready. Rest. Copy. On our way. So one down. Green line confirmed. Crew ready. Research completed. Let's get more weapons. Ready. Clear to engage. Fire one ready. Two down, and it is Point in the set. bag. All hands. Get moving. Battle report. Hostile carrier critically damaged. Third guy should be around here somewhere. Charted. Reporting. Set new heading. Get us moving. I mean, it's are so ready. Enemy So yeah, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up. And let me know that you liked it. And again.
again if you haven't yet subscribed just bash that red subscribe button i post videos all the time i've got some really cool stuff planned so thank you guys for watching let me know what you think i will see you guys next time